my, my Mac is wilding out right now. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the, the, the real deal right here at the arcade, you know. Um, up next we have uh, the Wall versus Zero Chan. Uh, Zero Chan, really proficient, proficient uh, Vanessa player. Uh, I I played her at PAX actually. I don't know. If, I don't, oh yeah, you said you weren't at PAX, but uh, she was at PAX there with uh, the Virtua Fighter uh, like Bible. Oh. Uh, like learning all the all the all the new moves and stuff. But uh, <laughs> what's up? She oh yeah, yeah, too. she brought it here. Yeah. Here. Um, but yeah, like what? Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on. I heard you guys talking about uh, the accessibility of this game, and I think it's. I think you're saying it's like it, it. It actually is like a myth that this game is like impossible to play. It is. There's three buttons. You have punch, <laughs> kick, and go. <laughs> exactly. No, no but it, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of joking. I mean, it does, but like. It, it, with this game, it typically comes down to like I think ten really strong moves, and if like you if you recognize and understand what those moves are and understand their applications, you can start putting stuff together really quick in yeah. this game. And it's, just, it's, it's really based on creativity. There's yeah. like, there's, there's a lot of moves in, the, in each character. Right. A, a lot, but you don't have to memorize all of them. Like you can be a very good fighter just with a handful of moves and just picking your spots and reading the other player. I mean. It's, it's like any other fighting game. It's a, you know, you, you'll stick to the moves that you're comfortable with. Right. And there's some advanced stuff, but you don't necessarily have to do that to, to be successful. Oh, ex yeah, exactly. I mean, and a lot of times in this game, I found just when I was playing, uh, uh, when I when I was playing uh, uh, Vir um, Virtua Fighter 5 on uh, like Xbox, just the you know the first one that was released. Um, you know, when I was when I was first getting into that, I mean. What I liked about the game is that you could really take the character in any direction that you wanted, wanted them to go. So you learn these 10 strongest moves, and you, but then it was really up to you how you want to apply them. So it's like, I felt like it was pretty easy to get into once you understood like their, their strong, stronger attacks. And then a lot of it just came down to, to the movement of the game, like understanding the, the 3D space. But even that, once you, get, once you understand the, the, the properties of certain moves and how like why they hit why they are hitting you when you're sidestepping and such it's not really that bad no, uh, and in Final Showdown they redid like up the majority of the animation so now it's very clear like what's going on you know you know high mid low kicks whatever it is you know like it's very easy to read now as far as as far as the game mechanics are concerned. Well, I, I think they simplified the the throw uh, yeah. system as well so throw it's not skates, it's not yeah. as not as like overly complex as it may have no. been in the past it's a lot, a lot more uh, straightforward in this game i think it makes right. it just it makes a lot more sense so um but yeah i'm, I'm really yeah, i'm really pleased with the turnout i've seen a lot of the faces i haven't seen here in a while and everybody's having a good time and uh yeah, and yeah, it's, a lot of, yeah it's, a, it's a pretty good gathering we have right here Shout out to everybody on the stream. Uh, we are far from done with this tournament. Uh, we're actually about halfway through. Um, and uh, they're actually going to be running a couple matches off stream, some of the losers, losers bracket matches. But we still have uh, quite a few winners bracket matches left. Uh, I think it's me and Shidosha are going to be up next uh, on the winners bracket. We're going to run a couple more losers, and we'll get to that. Uh, I know Sebo's still in the tournament. You're watching Zero Chan. We've got Rinzo here. Lots of uh, familiar names. So we've got some good matches coming up. Uh, in the meantime, uh, promote this wherever you can on Twitter, Facebook, um, you know, any forums that you go to. If you have a website, post it on your blog, your Tumblr. Uh, of course, follow Sega on Twitter at Sega. Easy enough. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Haunts and also at iPlayWinner. And uh, if you're wondering what uh, these tournaments are all about, you can find a full schedule on SouthtownArcade.com and iPlayWinner.com. Uh, we have the, the rules, the details of the tournament, and the full schedule of the uh, tournament series here at Southtown. Uh, if you're in the area, definitely check out that, that schedule and make it to the next one. Because you should be here, not watching the stream. <laughs> so what is, uh, what is your role at Sega exactly? Um, I'm a senior producer Okay. At Sega. I've been working on the project for about a year now, actually, uh -huh. uh, with M2 over in Japan. Okay. So my, my main responsibility is to not mess anything up. Make sure this game comes out on uh, XBLA and uh, PSN. Uh, don't so, blow it. Don't blow it. <laughs> but we're, everything's going fine right now. We're, we're, we're doing well. So tell me a bit about uh, the, the, the video that you guys released recently. It's the uh, history with the AM2, the history of Virtua Fighter. Right. So uh, we did a series called the Heritage Collection. Um, it's actually another producer in our company that, that spearheaded that. Uh, we went out and we basically talked to uh, kind of the, the legends of our of Sega that are still there, still you know doing great stuff. Right. And 
just kind of go back to the like the roots, like why this game and why this game, and they had such great insight and stories back in the day, uh, and that's really for the fans. You know? yeah. Like we we've got so many fans of Sega, uh, and we're you know listening to them and trying to do our best to like bring them the content that they want. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I thought that, I thought that was amazing. Um, I, I know David actually sent me the link, and uh, we uploaded it to our YouTube, and uh, it was just crazy because there's two guys who've been part of the company for t like 20 years, 